So uh, this is section 3.4, and we are just going to talk about what's called the distance formula. And the distance formula is just basically this idea that if we, we have some segment, you know, some little piece of a line like that, how can we determine its length if we know points for it? So uh, first off, I want to remind you of some stuff that you, you do already know about this. Um, and one of them is, if you have a right triangle, so let me extend that down, extend that across like that, we know that the relationship between these three sides using that Pythagorean theorem. So if this side is A, this side is B, and this side is C, we know that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if I know these two lengths, A and B, um, I can combine them using Pythagorean theorem to get C squared. You know, a real common example of the Pythagorean theorem is if this is 3 and this is 4, I want to know that. Uh, 3 squared plus 4 squared equals C squared. Uh, 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. If I square root 25, you know, on my calculator, or if I just know it, C is 5. So that distance is 5. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find distance. So I'm going to pull up some graph paper, and I'm just going to say that I have a couple of points here and here, and they are connected with a uh, with a line, a straight line. And um, what I want to do is I want to know how long that line is. I want to know the distance of that line. So one way that I can can go about doing this is just to uh, think about a right triangle, come down and across on the grid, just like that. And let me think about how long this is right here. I'm counting the segments here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is six long. One, two, three, this is three long. And that would be my hypotenuse. So I know that uh, six squared plus three squared is gonna equal C squared. Six squared is 36, three squared is nine. 36 plus 9 is 45. And then uh, I would square root to get to get that value for 45. So the square root of 45, I'm going to do that on my calculator, and we can just round it off. Oh, so square root of 45, I'll square out uh, three decimal places. It's about 6.708, you know, a little over 6.5 units long. So notice like one thing to, to kind of think about with this is if this right here is six long, if I kind of swing it, swing it like this, like you can see how you have that length right there. You can almost use that length to measure this. And this is a little longer than that. So that, that makes about sense for me, 6.708. So let me do another one. And in this one, I'll actually put it on a grid. And I'll do something like this. So I want to know the, how long that segment is. I want to know the distance of it. And um, I could just count it, but I want to make a connection. Notice that this is the point um, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 5. And this is the point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 1. So I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to bring this across. Think about that right triangle that I have there. Now I could just I could just count these like I said before and I'm going to one two three four this is four long. Remember when we were working with with slope when we were talking about this this is like a change in y from here to here. So notice the distance from five down to one. One way to get this distance is to go five minus one. Five minus one is four. And uh, if I think about this one right here, these are the x values. Notice this distance is 5, and this distance is 2. And you can see that it's 3, but it's like uh, 5 minus 2, or 2 minus 5, you know, whatever. It's 3. So I could subtract these to get that, subtract these to get that, and then I have 4 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared. And I'm going to end up square rooting this whole thing. 4 squared is 16, 3 squared is 9. 
Uh, 16 plus 9 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. Now I want to do one little thing here with this, is think about where this part came from. The square root came from, I'm going to square C, so I square root it to get the answer. Think of where the 4 came from. The 4 came from um, the subtractions in the Y's. So like Y1 minus Y2. And the 3 came from the subtraction in the X. X1 minus X2. So this is getting a little messy. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. So there was that 4 value is my change in Y. So what I have here is the 4 came from, and I could go you know, either Y minus either Y. Y2 minus Y1, but notice it got squared, plus X2 minus X1 squared. It's basically just change of Y squared plus change of X squared. Change of Y squared plus change of X squared. And then that's square rooted. There's my change in Y, there's my change in X. So if I have points without the actual graph, if I have the graph, I can just count it. But if I have points without the graph, I can think about this. Change in Y is one side, change in X is the other side. Let's do a couple of problems like that. Go back to here. And uh, let's say I have some points, uh, the point 0.37 and the point nine, nine, 10. And I'm gonna say there's a line that goes through those points. And I wanna know how far it is. I wanna know the distance between the two points. So this is the point three, seven. This is the point nine, 10. And I'm not gonna actually just use graph paper for it, but I am gonna think about if I had this right triangle here, this right here, is my change in x, 3 to 9. So I could think of this as 9 minus 3, which is 6. This is my change in y, that's 7 to 10. So I could think of this as 10 minus 7. So that's just 3. So then it would be 6 squared plus 3 squared. I'm going to square root that. 36 plus 9. I think we did that problem. We did it somewhere, I think. Uh, 36 plus 9, well, that's square root of 45. Do that on my calculator. Uh, I think it was about 6.708. Let's do another problem like this. We've got some points. Uh, one of the points is at 517. The other point is at uh, 7. Let's not make it too big. Uh, 23. Now, if you want to sketch out the picture um, to help you, you know, think about the formula to use, that's great. But really, um, you might get to a point where you don't need to, where you're just saying, What's my change in Y? How far is it from 17 up to 23? And you can just go 23 minus 17 to, to get that answer. That's a distance of 6. How far is it from 5 to 7? That's a distance of 2. Those are your two sides of the triangle. Um, so I'm going to go 6 squared plus 2 squared and square root that. If I were to draw it, you know, I have two points. 723, 517, and I want to know this side and this side to make a right triangle. This side is my change in y, right? The second, the second part of the point is y, so 23 minus 17. That's where my 6 came from. This is the change in x, 7 minus 5. Gives me that 2, and then square root of 36 plus 4, square root of 40, do that on my calculator, square root of 40. Uh, I'm going to go up three decimal places, so I get about 6.32. Oh, three, that's right, one more place, five. So that's the distance formula. It's just the Pythagorean theorem, and thinking about the sides as being, one of the sides being the change in y and the other being the change in x from the two points that you have. So give those problems in the assignment a try. Message me if you have any questions.